So what is SysX? System exclusive is a MIDI standard form of message communication which allows custom and flexible communication to devices that manufacturers can uniquely program. And this can be anything from controlling parameters to updating the firmware. So it's a pretty flexible little thing. Now, SysX uses a hexadecimal or a base 16 counting system. And we use, you know, in standard counting, we use a decimal or base 10 counting system in our normal everyday maths. So let's have a quick look at this notepad I've got over here. And what I want to do is I want to show you just how the hexadecimal counting system works here. So you can see the number zero up to nine, and then it goes A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, if you count all of those numbers and letters there, and there's 16 of them, that's why it's a base 16 system. How this works is the numbers all have numer numerical values. So when we get to the letter A, that becomes the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th value, okay? Hex values are shown using this notation here with what we call a byte pair or zero, zero, and then a H. The H just means that we're showing a hex number. Some other places you'll see hexadecimal written with zero X and then the two pair, the byte next to it. And that all just means that's a hexadecimal number as well. So don't get confused by this. Let's just have a quick look at the Roland manual. And you can see here this 8NH, the, the, the letter H just means that is a hexadecimal value. Notice that in the manual that everything in here with hexadecimal values are pairs. Let me just keep scrolling down. Over here on the left, you'll see these values. There's two numbers and a letter H, a number and a letter and a letter H. Remember the hexadecimal does use the letter F. Okay, so these pairs are known as bytes. And we're going to go back to my little note page here. What we want to do is we want to have a look at how this counts. Up the top, you'll see a little graphic above my little notes here where you can see I've done three rows of hexadecimal counting. There's 16 per row. So you can see the bytes are in pairs. What I want to do is I want to quickly show how we are going to calculate hexadecimal. And what we're going to use is a little formula. The first two numbers we'll call the first number A, the second number B. All right, so let's write that down on here. Okay, A and B, and we're going to use this formula where we're going to times A by 16, and we're going to add B. So there's our little formula there. Now let's have a look at these numbers up here. So let's look right over here where we've got... Um, right on the far right hand side in the middle column, uh, middle row, 1F. So when we write 1F like this, we can either write it as 1FH or 0X1F. And you might remember, I just went through that a second ago. So what we do is we times the first number by 16. In this case, it's 1. So 1 times 16, 1 times 16, all right? This is the A number, which is equal to 16. And then we add the B number to it. In this case, the B number is F. And as you can see, F is 15. Okay, so 16 plus 15 is 31. So our decimal value of 1F should be 31. All right, let's go over to our calculator and let's grab our 16 base number system. So you click on the 16 here and we're going to go 1F. Notice how it's 0X here. That means it's a hex number. If we hit the 10, it will calculate 31. So we got that right. So that's just a quick way of how to calculating how you guys are going to calculate your SysX. And we can go backwards too. So we can say, right, how do we go from 31 decimal and how do we get the hex value? And you can just do that. one. 27 which i think is 7f bang okay so you don't really need to know this part so much but it's handy what i want to do just quickly too is show you a little cheat in that midi implementation manual you'll see they've already given us a hexadecimal table so we can look up any of these values 
well, the one we used was 1F. Okay, so let's go down to 1F and you can see here that it's 31. And remember we did 127 to 7F, so there it is there. All right, so that is pretty basic. And I think once you know where to find these things and once you know how it works, I don't think that should be a problem with this stuff. Thank you.